Thanks for watching us. It's a service we all count on to be there when we need it. But last night and into this morning, Southeast Minnesota experienced massive 911 outages. At least seven counties were impacted. KGTC's Barrett Leone spoke with an emergency management director from Winona County to learn more about the issue and what's being done to prevent it from happening again. Barrett. Good evening, Tom and Caitlin. As of 1 o'clock this morning, all counties affected by the outage are reported to be back online, but how the outage even happened is still under investigation. Emergencies can strike at any time. But what happens when the number you rely on isn't there? It's, it's very scary because we're taught from childhood that if we need help, we call 911. It's ingrained in your head. At least seven counties in southeast Minnesota experienced a 911 outage late Sunday night. We put out our non-emergency number. We tried to put it out on as many platforms as we could. Now there is a way you can ensure you get these push notifications on your cell phone. All you have to do is go to settings, notifications, and enable government alerts. Winona County Emergency Management Director Ben Klinger says it's not an issue with individual county call centers, but rather with the state's provider. CenturyLink is the 911 provider for the state of Minnesota, so all 911 calls go through CenturyLink and then get routed to wherever they need to go in Minnesota. And what we've been told so far is that CenturyLink had a system failure somewhere in that routing process. While an outage like this one is a rarity, it has happened before, a similar outage in August of 2018. It was under an hour that we were down here in Winona County at that time. And two more large outages in 2019, where CenturyLink was heavily fined both times. Cleaner says the State Emergency Communications Network Board will most likely investigate. Find out what the issues were and find out who's responsible and we'll make changes from there going forward. And to have your non-emergency numbers in your back pocket just in case. This is a very rare occurrence. This doesn't happen a lot, but that number's good for other things too. If we did reach out to CenturyLink and while they did confirm that an investigation was in place, we have not heard a response regarding an interview. Live in the newsroom, Barrett Leone, KTTC News.